welcome back to my channel, The Appalachian Home. So in today's video, I want to go over what are the best materials you can use if you're just starting out as a beginner with your Cricut. I did a video a while back on what you can do with the Cricut Maker and I've gotten lots of comments and questions from people who are beginners and are just starting out with their Cricut machines. So I'm going to show you today some of the best materials and tools you can use if you are a beginner and I'm also going to show you some great projects you can start out right now doing using these materials. I'm also excited to be partnering with Cricut on today's video and I want to thank them for sponsoring this video and sending me some products that I can share with all of you. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. We're going to go ahead and get started with some of these materials that are simple to use if you are a beginner. First we want to look at some cardstock and it's probably the easiest material to work with. Adhesive vinyl is also super simple to use. You simply place it on your mat, cut weed, and it is ready to use. Sticker paper and printable vinyl are easy and my favorite thing to use. You need a regular printer to print and your machine will accurately cut around your images using the print and cut feature. Iron on material is also simple to use. You just load your mat, cut, and weed. Transfer tape is another item that I use a lot. It's great for transferring vinyl decals onto your projects. And I also have some basic Cricut tools for weeding and removing things from your mat and for placing decals. Okay, so first we're gonna get started with some cardstock projects. All these I'm using in today's video, I'm going to link them down in the description box. So let's go ahead and get started with these projects. First is this ice cream banner that I found in Cricut's projects. I just used some white and pink cardstock and some of Cricut's deluxe papers to make this banner. You simply place each color on your mat, cut it out, and then move on to the next color. And then I just glued them all together. Next is this snowflake scenery, and I thought this was so great. My kid's birthday is coming up, and I wanted to do a frozen theme for her party. I just cut some snowflakes using the white cardstock and struck those up on some thread to create this scene. To go with my frozen theme scenery, I found this cardstock snowball, and it's so cute. You just cut out the shapes on your cardstock glue them together to make a pretty large snowball. There are lots of projects like this you can find to use for birthday parties and things like that, but I thought these went together so great. And you can also cut out your own shapes like hearts and things to make banners and decorations in pretty much any shape that you want. So for the last cardstock project, I found this jar of hearts card. I am using some pink cardstock that came in the Red Tones sampler. You will need a scoring wheel or scoring tool to do this project. I'm using the scoring tool because it's so easy just to pop in the left side of your machine. You don't have to exchange the blades. And then I replace that with my Cricut pen to draw out the jar. But this is a great beginner card project. So now we're moving on to vinyl, which is one of my favorite things to use with my Cricut machine. This is so fun. I love to place vinyl on everything. It's just so easy to make. You cut out your shapes, weave them, and place them where you want them to go. Here are some so cute pantry decals that I actually found in Cricut's projects. This is gold vinyl. I'll link it below. And I just cut these out. And I also found some cookie ones and olive oil ones in the same project. So I did use transfer tape on this. And place your transfer tape over your weeded vinyl and use it to transfer your image. I also used white vinyl for this, but on this soap and lotion bottle. These labels I found under Cricut Access Projects, but you can also go in Cricut Design Space and type out any word and make other kinds of labels also. So I am a sign maker. I love to make all kinds of signs. If you watch my channel, you will know that. And these would be great for a tiered tray or for your kitchen. You can find sign boards at Walmart or Hobby Lobby if you are not a sign maker. For these, I went into my canvas in Cricut Design Space, and then I clicked on the images button and just typed in chicken and farm sweet farm to find these images. 
Also decorated this wooden recipe book holder with this quote using some white permanent vinyl. You can also do this to a wooden board and hang it up or stand it up in your kitchen. So I know I'm kind of in the kitchen theme today, but when I saw these spice store labels, I just loved them. I had to do them. These are so easy and totally change the look of your pantry or kitchen. And again, I just used some white permanent vinyl. Okay, so moving on to stickers and sticker paper. Cricut has sticker paper and printable vinyl. Um, you can use for sticker projects. I love making stickers. It's my next favorite thing to do with my maker. These stickers I'll print out using Cricut's print and cut feature. You can use a regular printer, print it out, and place it in your machine to cut out your shapes. For the clear sticker paper, I just made myself some custom labels. I can use these for my business, sending out items, or for cards, or just for bills and personal things. But that's a great beginner project to get started with is making stickers. Iron on projects are not only so easy, but they are so fun. Much like adhesive vinyl, you just simply put your material on your mat, load, cut, and weed. This customized pillow project I found in Cricut Access Projects as well. And I love this one because you can customize it to your own family name or even type in your own saying at the bottom. But I just used some Cricut everyday iron-on in black to make this project. So there's a few projects that are so simple for newbies and beginners fresh out of the box. I hope you try some of these projects. It's great just to jump in there and get started. The more you use your Cricut machine, the more comfortable you will get with it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will leave links to these projects and the materials I used today if you want to try these projects. And again, a special thanks to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.